Welcome back to the channel. This is a different kind of video from us. Um, we have bought a Tokyo treat box from the internet. Yes. Um, this is not sponsored. They have not paid us. They've not given us this. We bought this with our own money. Cost us. £25? Pounds? £25. Pounds. I think. I'll put the price on the video down here somewhere. Um, I can't remember exactly how much it was. I bought it about a month ago. It took, it took about four or five weeks to be delivered. Yeah. It arrived today. It is the February Valentine's box and it includes lots of treats from the country of Japan, not just Tokyo. So let's get right into this box. Oh, I'm in. The suspense. It's the suspense. killing me. <laughs> got a paper cut. Right, let's... Yes, Holly, this isn't for you. So let's unbox this. You can see ah, before oh. we can what's in there. It says share the love. Share the love. So what have we got? Lots of goodies. And let's pick these out one at a time. So what's this? It's a little, little book. book. Little booklet. Volume 50. This has been going around a while. Um, and it tells you all about Valentine's in Japan and includes, oh it's promoting the next one, March's box um, there's a treat in here where some of the money from each box is going to the bushfires in Australia Yeah. which is a good thing, I'm looking forward to trying all the Kit Kats anyone know what a gachi gum is? no, nope. but it sounds naughty <laughs> Ah, right, we've got the list of everything that's in the box here, so I can't read Japanese. I think the things might be written in Japanese, so we'll, we'll look at this. So. No, they're written in English, Sean. Yeah, they are. These aren't. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. These aren't. You can match the Japanese to what's on the bag, and then it's written in English on here. So, shall we start with these Frito Lays? Um, they look like a dragon, Chris? These here. Yeah, they're called the classics and they're called a dragon crisp. You want some? They're not for you. Sit down, please. Never judge a book by its cover. With all the sweet this Valentine's, we wanted to mix things up with this unique Japanese flavour pair. pairing. Creamy taroko works great with a gentle butter. This okay. combo is not to be underestimated. Um, before Sean makes a huge noise, these are all vegetarian. Yeah, there's no meat in this box. That's what the box is, anyway. Go away, Holly. They don't smell. Let's have a try. What Let's all try them. Oh, Dave's already beaten us to it. <laughs> they are nice. It's tasty, that. Huh? A little bit solid at first. Mm -hmm. I like. Like a very subtle, sweet barbecue. I will say, the best way to describe them, Bobby's salt and vinegar swirls, but not salt and vinegar, but the, the same swirl. swirl. You know where you get the corn cocktail ones? I like them. Mm -hmm. They are quite sweet though. They are quite sweet. So that is, whatever that is. Well, what is caracol? It's an uh, Alaskan pollock, so it's fish. Fish crisps. So, I could put, so it's basically like a prawn cocktail, which is what I've just said, didn't I? Well, now that you said that, actually, I said barbecue, but actually, yeah, like, um, yeah. Okay, next item on the list. I can read this one. It says caramel corn. Caramel corn. Potato caramel corn is one of Japan's most well-known snacks. Walk in the line between fluffy and crunchy, this sweet treat will melt in your mouth. The combo of milk and caramel paste gives it a gentle taste. Sounds like a squad movie night snack to us. Don't eat them, smell. It smells like peanut butter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like Reese's peanut butter. No, I wouldn't say Reese's, but it smells like peanut butter. Butter kissed. Butter kissed on your peanut butter. No, but it's in the smell. The smell. Oh, not for me. 
Yeah. They're like yeah. peanut butter rather than caramel. <coughs> oh, too sweet. Too sweet. Oh. No. Do you like that? Heart marshmallows are next. Strawberry heart marshmallows. These lovely little fluffy marshmallows have the sweetest strawberry flavour. They embody the cute Japanese Valentine spirit. They also could be enjoyed alone over with other snacks. Try them out and make your own flavour pair. I cannot have these. I suspect we've got gelatin, so let's be safe on this one, Dave. And not let Caroline have one. Strawberry marshmallows. Mm-hmm. We've not got anything weird yet. Harley? No. This has got a this is a cute box. Then can I just check that because I can't find this box on here anywhere, Sean? Can't find it. I'm gonna come in in this little foil. Well, we've done what we have. Well, give me the box and I'll try and transmit it. Oh. With this being a Valentine's February box, um, a lot of things are strawberry based, I think. That's. smell. Yes, it's very strawberry. Can you pass the box before I try any? Mm. Just don't try one to be safe. What they look like. Mm, it's just it's it's inside. There's something in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's where you get the strawberry from. Mm. Nice. I think different animals. Very nice, crunchy. We've established that these are vegetarian through Google Translate. Sweet. Mm. But nice. They remind me of a sweet from childhood. Yeah, they make my mouth water. Oh no, I don't like the end. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah, not for me. Well. Oh. I'm just, really not sweet toothed. You just want to drink the beer. Mm -mm. I was saying past the water actually. Next up is these heart shaped crisps. These are called veggie hearts. We found the perfect heart shaped snack to give you a little break from the Valentine sweets. As veggie snacks are super popular in Japan, veggie taboo are filled with five different types of veggies and come in three fun colours perfect for some me time. I'm going to smell them. They smell right to me. Yeah, they smell like uh, salt and vinegar. I give you my heart. I think they're... Not a lot of flavour in them. A carrot, pepper and tomato. Yeah. And, and red pepper. So, the orange hearts are a mixture of carrot, pepper and tomato. The yellowy, no, yeah, sorry, the orange, I'm, I'll start again. The orange heart are a cross between orange pepper and, I'm not sure what that is, Sean. And the red, the red ones are a cross between, a, are mixed with carrot, red pepper, tomato. The green ones are green pepper and I want to say some form of herb or lettuce. Which ones have I tried? Oh. They're my cup of tea. They're your cup of tea. They're my cup of tea. I'm not bothered by them, there's not a whole lot of flavour. So? Yep, they're my cup of tea. Okay. Next up. And I think these are a cheesy puff. Let's have a look. 
There's, um, a, there's a cow on the front. They're called Argy or Argy Cheesy Chips. Crunchy, cheesy, light. These Argy, Argy Cheesy Chips are here for all the lovers and cheese lovers. These crunchy snacks are favourite for cheese fans in Japan. I need to double check those though so we make this normal. These are just cheese. It just pops a bit. No cheese. Mm. Not keen on them. They remind me of um, organic kids' treats. You know, the organic kids' sticks and um, panda shaped bears and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've had that taste before. I've had that taste before as well, and it's. It's like a sesame cracker taste. Yeah. Next up is these pink balls. I don't know what they are. What are they? Um, strawberry chocolate balls. These strawberry chocolate balls prove that the best thing do come in small packages. Their light texture makes a very popular chocolate snack. Sweet, light, and fun. They remind you of happy times with friends. Um, I, I will need to check whether I can help them because they might have gelatin in them. They're just biscuit. Like. They're not biscuit, they're um, just... a strawberry coated rice crispy. Okay, I'm just going to decipher it. Actually not a rice crispy, um, um, sugar puff. Strawberry coated sugar puff, but harder. small and, and slightly harder. That's what they taste like. I'm not thinking so it has mm. any gut gelatin or anything else. One thing about them, you're not getting any after this one. Okay, next up is Caplico. Caplico strawberry and chocolate hearts. When you want a classic flavour combo to express your love and appreciation, you can beat a sweet strawberry and rich chocolate combination. Caplico strawberry and chocolate hearts are held close to many Japanese people's hearts. Can I have one and I'll check? Can I have the butter to check? Make sure there's no gelatin in. Oh, it's melting in my hand. I like them. Mm -hmm. Nice chocolate. The chocolate's kind of bitter, a little bit. Bitter, but the strawberry's helping with that. And according to Google Translate, one of the ingredients is scallops. You're not going to like them anyway, Caroline. I'll what? keep them for me. I, I could be... You won't like them, Caroline? I'll no, keep them not. for me. No, they're not. Okay, next item is a cream cake. That is the strawberry defuku Kit Kat. No, it's not. No, it's a cream cake. Uh, it's a cream cake. Have you seen the back of it? It's a cream cake. Yeah. Strawberry milk cream cake. This one is for the sweet tooth friends who want to show some love to this Palantines. The milky and sweet flavour of the strawberry cream is sandwiched between two spongy cake bears. This mini cake is a delicious treat that is hard to be that is hard to put down. Not for me, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. No, not for me. Well, it's soft. Soft. It's a nice feather. Mm. What we've got left? And I'm a Tokyo Treat Premium Box. Well, I'm a bit upset. Why? Because there should have been some Pocky in, but it looks like the Pocky was replaced by the one that wasn't mentioned on here. And the pockies, the sticks that I wanted, would have wanted to try. Yeah, like um, Mikado. Yeah. Okay. I think these are. I think these are going to be hard jellies. Let's have a look at that one. Um, pure. Pure. Honey and apple pure gummies. Everyone likes a surprise during Valentine's. 
the sweet honey and apple flavours of the pure gummies make a delicious winter draw. But get ready for a little sour burst from the sh sour sugar coating. The sweet and sour balance from each other perfectly. Um, can you please check? I would assume these have got beef gelatin. But I'm going to check. Two different colours. Mm. Oh, tangy there. Mm. Mm. What is that for? It's really bad, and then when they mix together, it's only slightly less bad. What do you think, Dave? Mm -hmm. I'm frightened. Just try one. No, I don't want gelatin. The aftertaste isn't too bad, actually. Oh, God, no. Oh, no, no, seriously. No. It's only when you first suck it. No, the smell is just... No. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've also got these. Blendy sticks. So this is coffee. Um, I think, or tea. It is blendy stick culture cafe ole. The perfect partner to all your valentines. Treat you warm your heart and your hands with these popular Japanese tea. The rich caramelly hoja aroma... I'm probably saying this all wrong. Mixed with creamy milk is perfect for a night and with your friends. It's tea. We'll try those later. Milky tea. I'm gonna have to have a drink of water after that, Jelly. <laughs> okay, the next item is a strawberry soft serve. Ice cream! The ultimate winter dilemma, you want to grab an ice cream with your friends, but it's too chilly. Well this icy treat is here to help. This tricky tricky treat is topped with a fruity marshmallow and sweet strawberry centre and has a crunchy corn base, which I will be having. Why? It's marshmallow. You can try it. No, it's gelatin. There's like sherbet eat sugar in it. Here you go, Dave. It's like Flavoured sugar inside. It's going to drip out the bottom. It's missing it out the bottom. Going out the bottom. Yeah. Is there anything? Ha! That was something come down. I went. Would have a bite at the bottom. Oh, very sugary. You can, you can have that one, Dave. <laughs> keep that on your side. You can keep that one. Just put it down if you don't like. Put it in the bin. Very much sugar. Yeah, okay. You already have sugar. Enough. Next thing, next item looks like. A strawberry Swiss roll of some description. Let's have a look at this so I can try and work out what it is. It's Uncle Pierre's roll cake. Uncle Pierre? Nobody shares love better than family Uncle Pierre's mini roll cake mixes sweet and sour flavours with its tasty strawberry cream filling, all wrapped in a soft and spongy cake. Maybe this snack is good to share. It looks like a fig roll. Mm-hmm. I'm not having it now. No, because it might not, it might have... It's just cake. Just a Swiss roll. Oh, God. Why is everything so sweet? Just a Swiss roll. It's alright. Spongy, soft. Oh, what do you do? Can't they? <laughs> not a whole lot of flavour in there. No. No. Hard taste in the end. Right, we have got... A little boy winking at me. This is a choco bat. Choco bat. This snack is surely a home run. This long treat is a sweet and crunchy breadstick with a thick sweet chocolate coating. Baseball is a popular sport in Japan and this chocolate bat will make make you want to take your friends out to a ball game. Like a sausage? <laughs> it looks like a really big... It looks like a really I shouldn't have taken as big as that. <laughs> and what, what? I shouldn't have had as big a bite as that because it's not nice. It's like... Ew. Oh, that smells like it's got fish in it. No, it's like... Malt. Like Marmite malt. Yeast. Yeah, there's... I need to I need to check what's in this. Oh. You have a bite, Dad. Yeah, that's, just, that's not nice. Oh. You might like it though, because you like Marmite. Come back in, Dad. Oh, no. That's not nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna what do did it. you think, Dave? Nope. No, make it. Don't like that one. Nope. We've got another one. A rainbow star. Love is love. 
and this looks like a chocolate churro. There's yeast, yeast and everything in there. Yeah, it's not nice. I'm so good. Yeah, so this is what the rim, it looks like a dog chew. It's called a bubby choco stick. It smells chocolatey though. I'm sure Harley would like this. With all these interesting combinations, mm -hmm. sometimes we just need something simple. Shimmy choco is a classic Japanese childhood okay. favourite. It is made of corn and has very light and delicate crunch. Its simplicity and chocolatey goodness will no, bring you back to the good old days. It thinks it's like his biscuit. It looks like Harley's biscuit. It does. Chocolate Rice Krispies. Cocoa Pops. <laughs> you know when you make the chocolate corn and chocolate Rice Krispie cakes? That's that. Amazing. Hard, crunchy. Holly thinks it's his treat, but really chocolatey. Oh, really nice, actually. I, li I like that one. Come on. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think? Hello. Chocolate We've got Choco you get Bar Japan. The top one? Choco Bar Japan. Black Thunder. For Black Thunder. Black Thunder. The ultimate Valentine's cookie. The bitterness of the rich cocoa battles a sweet chocolate topping to create a crunchy cookie harmony. Whoever eats this tasty treat will surely be left with a powerful impression. Is that raisins? No. So there's, there's lots of chocolate, and biscuit, and Rice Krispies, I think, in there. That's a nice, nice biscuit. Fingers. It's not too too sweet either, that one. Is it? That's very sweet. It's not too sweet. Nope. Mm. What is next, Sean? Sure? We have one item left. Oh. Dave's hat causing accidents over there. Ruckus. <laughs> Kit Kats. These are strawberry mochi flavour. Mochi. These da are Kit Kat. Strawberry Defuku Kit Kats. Da Fuku Kit Kats. Will da you Fuku. share a. <laughs> Is it Defuku? Defuku. <laughs> strawberry Daifuku Kit Kats. Will you share a strawberry Daifuku Kit Kat with us? This crunchy snack is made for sharing with special friends. The sweet azuki red bean and strawberry flavour create a uniquely Japanese flavour and they come in pairs. They really give us all of the snack squad balls. Right. Now, hold Wait. on one moment. I'm going to find out how you actually say it. Thank you. Thank you. So when you open the packet, this is what get out of it, Harley. This is what they look like. There's the Kit Kat. Daifuku. 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 Do you know Daifuku? Okay. You won't see enough after a few drinks. <laughs> I thought these were going to be really nice, but they're not. Because it's that bean paste. But not. It is. It says here the red bean paste. No, Harley. Harley keeps trying to get all the treats, don't you? No. No, I'm not keen on that. What do you think, Kaz? I like it because it's got the milk chocolate. What do you I think, Dave? I like it. You like them? Yeah. They're yours. Firstly, <laughs> they can go in a bin. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> and in this premium box, we have a bonus Kit Kat. And I don't know what flavour these are. Do you want me to transfer? I think they are almonds, red berries, raspberries, eaten mess or something like that maybe. I will leave a referral code down below in the description for this Tokyo treat box. Um, but in the meantime, um, if you've enjoyed what you've saw, saw here, um, leave us a comment down below. Tell us a treat that you would like to try. 
Um, and if you've done this kind of thing um, yourself, is there a box that you'd recommend for us to try as well uh, in a future video? And if you've liked what you've seen, please like the video. Subscribe to us if you're not already. Keep making memories. Catch you later. Bye.